What up, YouTube? How's it going? Welcome back to another Demon Slayer reaction. Today, we're going to be reacting to episode 5. So, <clears throat> in the last episode, we see um, Tokito saved a little kid from that uh, goldfish Magikarp-looking demon. Yeah, it turns out he was a spell or something like that. And then we see um, Tanjiro facing off against um, that other demon, right? It turns out they split into four, but we find out they get weaker and weaker as, as soon as they split, right? You know, I think it just applies to anything, right? You know? Um, as a whole, you're stronger, but as you split up, you kind of get weaker. So I can understand that concept. So you see he has the sound power, right? He could just, like, burst people's eardrums. But, like, since he keeps splitting, he cuts them, and he splits them in uh, more pieces. You can see the sound get weaker. So he thought he gets them all, but it turns out, um, <clears throat> I forgot what happened. I think he got his whole body back or something like that. Something like that happened, right? And you see, like, Tanjiro, he needs to get back. So what he does is, um, tricks him. And then stabs him and goes back all the way to the mansion. You see, um, what you call it, um, Nezuko. Nezuko is able to do it, like, um, be it push that one guy away, right? And then he, she's facing the other guy, but she gets stopped. And you see Genya, um, he's getting hit, but he's still coming up. So we we don't know what kind of powers he has. He's just saying these mantras. So that's pretty interesting as well, too. Just saying all these mantras and still getting up. Okay, cool. And now, um, you see Tanjiro gets back and fights, gets a staff out. And then you see um, those Magikarp demons are invading uh, the village, right? And you see Mitsuri is nearby, so she's coming back too. And we're seeing Tokito. Yeah, I forgot he, he's going to save that swordsmith, right? That swordsmith that's uh, fixing Tanjiro's sword. That's what he's going to do. Okay, so now this shit, all of it's getting interesting. I want to see how what Mitsuri is going to do in this episode. I think she's going to go wild. I'm assuming so, right? Because she showed at the end, so I'm assuming in this episode she's going to actually you know get to the village or maybe not or fight demons on the way who knows but yeah it feels like those um hashiro is gonna fight a kizuki okay so if you enjoyed this reaction like subscribe share comment follow me on instagram twitter and twitch all the links will be in the descriptions i'm currently streaming near automata right now so check that out i'll put a playlist up here for the demon slayer reactions and let's get right into this <laughs> Oh, that's his swordsmith, right? Or him. Kanamori. That's why I came to the village. That's why I came to the village. He notices something. A demon. Or is it a Hashira? No, not a Hashira. A Kizuki. A Kizuki. Well, I am a Hashira after all. Yup. But and you're a Kizuki. Damn. There we go. Mitsuri in this bitch. Oh shit. What's with her sword? <laughs> I forgot because she's so cute. Let's go. Her sword is flexible, okay. Yeah, her sword is different. Love breathing. Oh shit, she's more flips and shit. Shivers our first love. Oh. <laughs> Badass ending line. Oh, shit. <laughs> I'm in the arms of a beautiful girl. <laughs> Love this. Tokito. Oh, Tanjiro? Shit! This is dangerous! Oh! 
Oh! The harpy looking one. Oh! Missed! Can he dodge that? Shit. Oh, what's she gonna do? The rubble can be an advantage. Why does she want the sword? Mm. <laughs> oh shit, all the deaths. That's insane. Yo, just imagine seeing like your villagers' former friends' bodies. Oh shit, they're still alive! He's stabbing them too. Oh, he's serious. You better knock that shit off. Let's go! Mm. Avoided it. Hmm, interesting. I think he's gonna figure it out. He's an art freak. <laughs> Thousand needle fish kill. This is like blank face. Oh shit! What's with his face? He's remembering shit. Oh! That's gonna be hard to cut. Hit him with water? Water prison pot. How's he gonna get out of this? Is he gonna slash it? His breathing. <laughs> He's gonna find a way, a, a different way to breathe. She's trying to do something. There we go. Yes, I, it was something like that, right? Okay, cool, cool. It's turning red. Nice. Exploding blood soul. Hmm? Inherited memory. Is it an ancestor? Let's go! Yeah, they scared now. You see their face? Yeah, he realizes it. Oh, shit. Oh, what's happening? Mmm. Oh, inherited memory. Sun Halo Dragon. Slashed him. You're done for. Slashed him. Slashed him. 
Where's that? He slashed three of them. Wasn't there four? Okay. His forehead. Shit. No, it wasn't. Did they? Oh. Is he a demon now? What the fuck is happening? Alright gang, we just got done with episode 5 and you see all the matchups are pretty much set, right? You see um, Tokito is facing um, the 5th guy, right? The 5th Hashira. And you see um, Mitsuri comes and saves the village, right? She kills all those um, Magikarp looking goldfish demons and saves the chief as well too. And you see her sword. It's different, right? It like curves and stuff like that. It's way different from the it's everybody else because she could use it like a whip, right, and just slashes people. You see, when she was running through the village, it's slashing everybody, which is pretty cool, honestly. And I wonder if it's hard too at the same time. Like, can she like block or is it just flimsy? I think that's my question, honestly. And then you see, um, Tanjiro. This battle is with Tanjiro versus um the is that the fourth demon, Hantengu, and holy shit. This was interesting, like, it turns out Nezuko was putting blood on his sword, so she he could use the um, exploding blood aspect, which, you know, hurts demons. So you see um, Tanjiro basically use that sword, and <clears throat> turns out he gets inherited memory, and he's basically a descendant of that um, demon slayer, right? That one demon slayer that almost beheaded Muzan. And I wonder how Muzan became a demon, so I think that's... I hope we get that revealed, too. How, how did he become a demon? Because he's the first demon, right, I think? So, I wonder how that became. But anyways, you see... What you call it? This inherited memory, and you see it... You see the demons, they're shocked, too, right? They're like, holy shit, he reminds me of him, right? Because they got the inherited memory from Muzan. So, he kills three of them at simultaneously. And the fourth guy, Genya, kills, but... He's turning some freaky weird demon looking dude. So one at what what happened? Did the demon transfer the power into Genya or is it this Genya's power? So we need to figure that out. You see Tokito, right? <clears throat> He's going with those swordsmith too to get his sword. And that fifth uh, Hashira is there. Uh, fifth, yeah, Hashira, right? He's there too. And these vases, he tries to slash the vase, but the vase just appears in a different area. So I wonder how that's working, right? And he could produce faces from his hands, right? You see he summons goldfish, and he has some weird art fetish. fetish. I said fetish. Uh, fetish. Yeah. He's fanatic about art, right? That's basically related to his powers. He's like data in some type of way, right? You see he shoots needles too, so now it's Tokito versus him. And you see like he gets a memory. He remembers something, right? Being called worthless, and you know what? He's about to slash his ass, right? And I think that's really all that happened, but yeah, uh, pretty interesting that last part. Holy shit, where he cut all three heads off at the same time, that's pretty impressive. So yeah, if you enjoyed this reaction, like, subscribe, share, comment, follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Twitch. All the links will be in the descriptions, and love and peace.